there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures um, and I've I'm just wanted to finish off this little booklet that we started in the last video, the one inspired by G. Kerr. As you see, um, I got it as far as doing the cover, I did a little journaling card and I just had to finish off these cards, these little journaling cards and did a little bit of stamping around the edge here that looks like faux stitching but I did have a have a little stamp that I used for that um, and then I have um, stamped a pair of scissors inside and done a little bit of inking inside there and then these three cards I've backed them with some cream coloured card and just stitched rather inexpertly around the edge but it's you know it's it's <laughs> it's the best I could do. Not very it's I'm not very good at going around the the uh, curved corners because I wanted to round the corners but the actually stitching around them is not my forte. Not yet. I'm hoping to get better, but <laughs> who knows? So um, I might try and disguise those a bit with some of the de little bit of decoration I want to do. So I just wanted to put on. I took I tore out some of the words. This is the original sheet, if you remember. So it comes with some words on it. So I thought I would, um, so the sheet I used f to do these, I still had the words left over. I also did an extra one because I quite like the, um, to put perhaps scissors on here rather than one of the words that was already included. But I'll give myself a little selection of words, um, torn them all out. And I just thought I'd decide which ones I'm going to use and where I'm going to put it. And I've also got a little bit of, some little bits of, little scraps of, Cheesecloth. These are these have been tea dyed. A couple of tea dyed pieces. But I didn't quite have enough in my scraps, so I've got a one of the, that's still in its natural state. And I thought, well, that's okay because actually on this one the background is already quite dark. So I, I thought a little piece of this would be okay. So I think um, I'll start as I wanted to use the word scissors on the one that's got scissors on it. Just being a little bit obvious. Um, I thought I'd just put the little bit of cheesecloth on there and then stick the yeah well I'll just stick it on because you can't really tell while it's all all curled up um, I might use actually a little glue stick for this it works quite well on the cheesecloth put that down there and just stick that I can probably trim it a bit if it needs to needs any trimming if it's a bit raggedy looking although the raggedy look is quite it's quite nice quite like that and I pop might just ink the edge ink this um, around the edge the torn of the word that I've torn out so I've, I actually yes this one I've, this is the one I've stamped so the the, the font is slightly smaller um, than the others. This is a smaller one but this needle is a bit big and I wasn't sure I might use that, I haven't decided. Give myself options. We all like options. So I'm just going to a little bit, just to give that a little bit of definition around the edge. Boop. Okay. Didn't quite finish the tearing there did I? I was a bit scared when it's a narrow piece in case I tear off the whole, tear off the letter. Just about got away with it, I think. <laughs> right. So I might pop that on there. Scissors, yes, yeah, like that. And I used a bit of the Fabri Tac for the word to stick it onto the, onto the cheesecloth. Do my usual battle. It's coming out quite well. Whoop. <laughs> Sticking me to it. Mm. There we are. A little bit more. Ooh, squeeze. All right. If I lay it down, it might not go back up the top. Um, you know, sink down to the bottom again. So there we go. That's scissors in that one. See, that's that. And then I've got another piece of cheese. I'm going to put something up here. And if I place it strategically, you might not see my jaggedy sewing <laughs> in the corner. 
well it might distract from it anyway so I've got that there now I'm either going to use thread or needle because it's actually it says it's got the thread and the needle on there so I could put oh gosh that's that's just too big isn't it needle and thread no the, the word that this one for some reason this word is so much bigger than the others and I'm not keen on that on this little card so I think I'll just use the word thread or I've also got thimble and sewing I might use thimble on this one just because I've used sewing already on the front so it'd be nice to have something different so I think I'll use thread here and just put a bit of bit of the glue stick down again and I might just trim off a few of these a few of these bits Okay. Let's try and straighten it out a little bit. Oh, is that two pieces? Oh, it is. Oh, it's a double piece. Well, that's okay. Oh, uh, I make sure that sticks on as well. I think. I hadn't realised it was doubled over. That's all right. There we go. And then I'll put, oh, just do a bit of inking again. Just ink this up. So this little, this little ephemera seems to have taken quite a lot, lot of effort to make, but it, I just thought it was such a cute little thing to put in my, could probably tuck it into a, into a pocket or a tuck, I haven't quite decided yet. It's just nice to have a few bits. I've got a fair bit of time to build up my collection of ephemera for this journal as I've started nice and early but as you can probably tell it'll take me a while to get it all done and I have got other things I want to do I've got certainly got another little project that I have started that is going to be an ongoing thing for the next little while so I just I shall come back and do that just to make do something different um, I'll have a little, a little go with that little project maybe in a couple of videos time just to just to uh, just to do something different because otherwise it could get a bit boring doing this journal not for me necessarily but possibly for you to see me doing the same old journal every time um well that's the, that one and then this one i'm going to use a little bit of the the nat the, the natural colored cheese cloth cut that there And I think I'll double that one up as well. So if I do that there, it's going to be a little bit long. <laughs> okay, if I stick that on there, and then put that on top, and then I'll just trim the two bits together. They will pay. They will behave themselves. Oh, I want both bits together. Just going. There we go. There we are. That do. Might make those just a little bit smaller. And then I'll pull the threads a little bit. That little jaggedy, jaggedy edge look, frayed look. Okay. Line them up a bit, more or less. Doesn't matter if they're not exactly together. All adds to the sort of raggedy look, doesn't it? If 
they're a little bit out of there we go so if I put that there and then I pop that on there again I've got a little bit more to tear off at the edge here but I'm a bit nervous about losing the end of my E quite difficult to tear these little tiny bits oh that'll do that'll do I've just ruffled it a bit <laughs> Um, inking, right. Right, and back with the fabric tack. Maybe I'll use the but I'll have better luck with the art glitter glue. Art glitter glue. Who knows? And I can make sure I tuck down those little edgy bits and they don't stand up and get caught. As this one was a rather strangely shaped piece. We're down. Boop, boop. We're down. All is good. Okay, so those little pieces are done. And I've got threads everywhere. Just trim them a little bit. And I've got one last little finishing touch that I want to do. So um, I put the scissors on the top to marry to match up with the the scissors, I love that little stamp. I've just got this new little set of stamps that put those kind of bits on and that's oh, that looks quite good under there. You take the bit bake them out and there's the scissors underneath. There's a little surprise. Right, there's my little journaling cards. Top nestled in there. Oh, I like those. And then just when I was I found on my shelf waiting to be put away, I found this little button. So I thought that would look quite nice as a finishing touch on the front. So that's what I'm going to do. And I really want the fabric tech to cooperate. And it is. I know I could put some thread on the button in the button, tie it up, finish it off, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop it on there. And that's it. That's it done. That's my little little booklet. Now when G did hers, she actually put another pocket on the back here with another journaling card. But I'm not going to do that because I think it might make it a little bit bulky. So I think I'm going to stick with what I've what I've got so far. I'm pleased with that. That's a really nice little little piece. And while I'm at it, I'll just show you another little piece that I made before I even started working on this. I made that when I was playing around with some bits a couple of weeks ago. I made this, it was uh, based on a um, perhaps something I think it was based on something that Pam at the Ape, at the paper outpost has, has done. I couldn't quite remember how she did it, but it's like a little trifold thingy, so it just opens out like that. So these are the, some of the um, ephemera pieces, the little cards that you get with. This is Caroline's Craft Tree um, ephemera. They've got loads more, but they're like little button cards, and I just thought they were so pretty, and they were just the right size. I've done this on. Um, Project Life cards is what I've used. Um, Pam does a lot of things using playing cards, but as I've got loads of Project Life cards, I thought I would use that, and I just uh, I thought that's so so cute. And then you've just got a little pocket here, the little piece of ephemera just popped in there. But there's plenty of um, writing space, and these little ladies were from some of the from another uh, couple of cards that I had. I just cut out like like these. I just cut out a couple of little little ladies, which I thought just finished it off, and I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. That was just an experiment, which is why I did it. I didn't do it on camera because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. So I backed, I backed the, um, covered the cards with with some um, book page, and then stuck on the ephemera pieces. And there's another one on the back there. So yeah, that's not. So I've got now 
two pieces of ephemera for my journal. Woohoo! Um, so I've got got those there. Now the next thing I'm going to do today, apart from putting all my glues back together, put this on and so I'm going to be gluing for a little while. I need to do something with that uh, collage I did the other day. Get all my tops back on. And on there as well. Cover up my ink. So, get rid of those bits. I guess I might need that. I'll be able to use that another time. Right, so, I've got my I've got my collage that I did, and oh, I've got some I've got some flowers in my room, and um, they seem to have shed some, some pollen on me on my collage. I think it's all right. Got rid of it. I think. Hang on. I've got a cloth here somewhere. Is that is that it? No, that's not. Oh, well, that might do. There we go. Let's wipe that off. Oh dear, never mind. Right, so I just need to cut this up in, now into, I suppose, tags, journaling cards, whatever it seems to, to work. Is that, well that, that's come up a bit. I keep finding little bits that are not completely stuck down, but I suppose that's part of the course. And when I've made them, I will probably stitch around them anyway. Obviously some of these bits might be in the middle of the card or journaling card so I can't really stitch everything down so hopefully they'll stay put now all right so now I've got to work out what size journaling cards and tags and things I think I'll need to try and make some tags because that's tags is something I don't have I'm just trying to uh, figure it out right let's have a look that's a bit, that's sort of journaling card size-ish, not journaling card, tag, tag size. I'm going to just cut that like that. And maybe another one, maybe that one there. Do this a little bit wider, and then it could either be. I'm kind of guessing on that, I'm not really measuring, just going by eye, really, as to how wide, just going by what how the picture looks. So I could make pockets or combination of both. I might just so I quite like I quite like that as a potential pocket. If I cut it across there, then I could cut it down and make two narrower tags. A pocket or a journal card. I don't think I need a journal. I think I think I might make that. Well, I don't know. I'll cut it there, I think. Let's see. That makes quite a nice little little pocket. And then, so this is either a big journaling card, which is quite that's a thought, isn't it? It makes quite a nice big. I quite like a big journaling card sometimes for um, to go into a belly band or into a into a side tuck, or something a bit substantial. And see, they've all been backed, so you're, it's all ready to go on the back. To, for I rather like that. I might be able to just do a couple of little bits, perhaps a bit of um, fabric snippet down the side or something. She's rather nice. Okay. I think I'm going to leave that as it is. So you never know really what you're going to get until you start cutting it up, do you? So, um, I'm going to try to do that there. Yes, I think I might just do that there. And you've got a little bit of the lacy bit there. And then, 
Mm. Uh, not sure. I'll just cut that. I'm wondering whether this will be like a side pocket tuck. Do something like that. Not sure. Cut it there. And I've got options. And this piece, is that coming away, away a little bit? It is a little bit, isn't it? Let me just let me just glue that one down. Because it's just just coming away at the oh, along the edges here. Coming glue. Are you going to come out? Come out, come out. This, I think this bottle's getting, feeling quite light now. So I don't think, I think, I have got a new one ready to go. But I think there's a bit of life in this yet. It just takes a little bit of coaxing. It worked just now. It's funny, oh, hang on, there we go. I think, I think I see some. There it goes. There we go. A little bit of glue all the way. Oh, it might go all the way down there. There we go. Stick it out. Now I'm wondering whether that will make a couple of smaller tags. We don't want too many big tags. I'm going to make that into two. Small tags. Go over there. Okay, that one. That one. All right. Now I know I want this to be a tag because that's just so pretty on its own. If I cut that there. really going to make a belly band because it means I'd have to cut either that bit off or I'd have to cut that off to make it fit so I'm just going to make this into two tags and it wouldn't need an awful lot bit of lace down the side probably and a bit of shaping and we're, we're, we're sorted and the same really with this this is this is a nice little tag isn't it just as it is okay so that's that now this piece, again, I think I'll cut it in half, and I think it's going to be a journaling card, two journaling cards. What I am I'm lacking actually is probably going to be pockets because everything seems to be vertically orientated, and what I needed was some things that were horizontally orientated, didn't I? But I didn't do that, so I may have to come back and do some more at some point that are more, are more obvious pockets. But in the meantime, I'm just going to cut this in half. And then we've got... Oh, because actually, if I'm doing pockets, I don't need to back them, do I? At least not with um, paper that I can, you know, that can be uh, written on. So, there we are. That's quite a nice one. I like that. All right, so they're cut up. So now we need to think about decorating them a bit. Right, so this is serious business. So the cardigan's coming off. Well, I think think about what I'm going to do. So I'm wondering. So I've got these two long pieces. Now that's definitely, I think, one of them could be a um, side tuck. And I think that might be that one. Um, I need to measure. I need to get it the right length, don't I? Um, I just grab my signature and then work out how long it needs to be. Right, 
Right, so need to, it'd be quite nice as a side tuck. Put in, and then something like like this. Just pop in there. So that's right, it's quite quite wide. I think it's too wide to be a belly band. I'm not really keen on really wide belly bands, otherwise you end up not seeing the uh, whatever it is you've tucked behind it. So I think I'll just I'll mark it and trim it. There we are. like the idea of making that into a little baby tag because sometimes it's quite nice to put a little tag on top of a you know of a little pocket and have a little diddy tag inside so I might do I might even do that so that is now going to be my going to be a side tuck that looks a little bit jaggedy I might just tidy that up So that's that, and then this is going to be two tacks. Whoop. Ooh. I didn't hold it down, did I? So it's gone a bit wobbly. That's that one. That one gone jaggedy as wobbly as well. Yes, it did a little bit. I haven't got the hang of using this properly yet. Right, so hold it there and then it won't move. There we are. Oh, there's my little box of rubbishy bits. Okay, so I think I'll start with the tag. I think that's so pretty. It, does, it doesn't feel like it's something stuck down. Mind you, I'm going to, I shall sew around it. Quite a small tag, I suppose. I'm sure there'll be plenty more tags that can be made, and I have got the whole tag, what's it called, tag, tag fabrication kit from Artie Mays and Tracy Fox. I have got it all, it's all cut out, and I haven't used any of it yet, so I suspect some of those will make their way into this journal as well. So I'm quite well supplied for plain unadorned tags, but I just wanted to make a few that were using the uh, the lovely digital papers that I had as well. Stick that down. I better cut my tag shape. Where's Mrs. Is? There we are. I think that's level. That looks, yep, looks about level. What's that? Right, so a bit of bit of decoration on here, I think. Well, I think I'd like um, maybe some lace as and so I think I've got a whole box of different types of that I might use. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I think my camera did its cutting out after half an hour business, business and I didn't notice. So I'm not sure how far I got with this, <laughs> but um, I probably, you've probably seen that I was working on this little tag 
and I've stuck my yo-yo on and a bit of lace and I just went off to find some um, pearls to stick in the middle and I haven't quite decided I was just going to try and get my little pokey tool to uh, see whether this is actually too big to stick in the middle whoop, there you go is that going to be too, because it's got that slight greeny tone to it, it's really that looks really pretty but is it going to make the whole thing really bulky I don't know but I do like it because it just picks up the blue in the pearl okay oh, it's really stuck now okay <laughs> he's stuck so I think it it's definitely this was too small so I can put those away um, so my other option was this one which is a little bit smaller but that looks really nice there so I may just leave well alone and put that on and then all I need to do is put a little topper on there um, I'm just trying to think it needs something up here let's see what I've got that I could put up there I've got some little text labels from Tracy Fox. What's this? That just go off the edge, maybe. I don't want to cover up that pretty flower. Maybe that one's too big. Sometimes you read these and think, it appears to say attic bins. I'm sure that's not what it says, but it looks a bit odd. Um, oh, here's a little one. Hmm. Don't know. Don't think the colour's right, actually. I don't know. I'm not very um, afraid with using labels. It's something that I've seen everybody use. But I haven't really got into the hang of the app yet, so I've got them. Just not sure how to use them at the moment. But I might use a. I've got some numbers as well. Number labels. Oh, what about these? Maybe a green. A green label would be quite nice. that picks up the green there. That's quite nice. And it still needs a little little something underneath. Still got this little tiny piece here. Don't know. No, I'm not feeling it. The only other thing I might quite like there, because I think a flower, I think we've got lots of flowers, a little butterfly would be quite nice. Let me just put my pin in my glue. See what I've got in the way of butterflies. This is a this is a chocolate box. See, I had some chocolates, and they're really great for putting ephemera in, so you can have a good old rummage around. I've tried using one of the books. I've made one, and I've got some bits in it. But I think I quite like just being able to have a rummage and see what I can find. Got so many butterflies here. Like this. Yep. That little white whitish coloured one. Hmm, quite like that. Yeah. Let's check there's nothing else. What's this one? Ah, oh, I've got there we go. 
as the one. Just put that there to cover up that join. I think it just needs a little tiny, just a little tiny bit more trimming. Just oops, put a little bit of ink on the edges to where there's any white bits where I haven't completely cut it perfectly. And that just takes away all of that. Just for the antennae. There we go. Right. Blue book. Where is it? Yep. Buried. So where are you going to go? Is it going to go there? Is it going to go there? I think it's going to go there. Because I don't want to lose this nice, this little pretty flower. I think that will do nicely. Because then I'm going to, I shall sew around it. I need to put a little topper on there. So I'll do that. Um... Ooh. It's a little satiny. Is that too? No, it's too thin. Um, it's a little strip. What about that? Will that work? I think it might. Yep, that'll do. Just a little, just a little tiny. Something about that. All right, I'll put a bit of. Bit of glue and uh, yeah, okay. That's that one, and then I put a little bit of glue here, and then I will sew it around it afterwards, and that will hold it all together nicely. There we go. So it's just. Just hold, you know, just gluing it to put it, keep it in place for now. By the time I come to sew it, the glue will have dried and it shouldn't, hopefully it won't gum up the works on my sewing machine. Okay. So, that's it. One topper done. Oh, topper. One tag done. That's really pretty. I love the little, I love the little yo-yo. Yo -yo. And I love the colour. Okay. That's that one. Uh... I've now got stuff all over the place, as one would expect. Right, and here's the other little tag. Um, now I'm just wondering, I've, I could use some of my ephemera from all those kits that I've bought. I have, I have a lot of it. So here we are. It's, it's all, I've managed to cut it all out. So. Now I can start actually using some of it. That's cute. It's a bit big. What else have I got? I mean, some of these will probably just make journaling cards just as they are. Or pockets, something like that would be a cute little pocket. rather nice but it's going to cover up all the pretty stuff so I want something smaller I think most of these are quite big I could cut round that I don't really, don't really like him 
and then put it on there. Let that work. Let's see. Just try that. him because he's smoking. We don't want any of that in the journal. Okay. Put that off there and then just trim that off. It's all very one colour though, isn't it? It needs a bit of colour. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh. That's very pretty. Yeah, like that. I think that's. I think that would work. That's. Um, that's one of the Caroline's Craft Tree pieces, or is it Hello Susan? Oh no, that could be a Hello Susan piece. That's, is that going to work? No, but I would work, use that on something else. Isn't that pretty? Ah, uh, yes, okay. Right. I can't see anything else at the moment that would work just as well. What's this? Maybe, having said that, I quite like that too. Mm, I think that might be even better. Hmm. I'm thinking, let me just do the, uh, do my tag shape before I forget. Especially as you've got a little sewing machine just poking out here and that says white sewing machine. I might put that just there. I think I will. I will put these back in here. Um. Oh, here we go. Well, that's what I forgot to do on that tag, wasn't it? I forgot to ink it. I knew that something wasn't quite finished looking about it, but I couldn't quite remember what. It's because I inked it. I will do that any minute now. Okay. Right, so that's that one. Let me just quickly ink this as well before I move on. Right, uh, there we go. Right, so this goes here. A little bit of, I think I want a bit of lace. I just like, I like a bit of lace. Um, hum, hum, hum. I want something with a bit of colour, I think. Go 
a little bit of pink lace. Uh, what does it need to be? Maybe it needs to be white. You can go, don't like you. And there. And let's put that there. Tuck that in a little bit more. Okay, let's cut that. Oops, there it goes. Cut up, cut that down. My space is getting smaller and smaller. So I'll put that, just put that along there, just have a little poking out a little bit there. And put that on there. It's not quite, not quite, oh, not sure. Um, I want something there. Or maybe that's where the little numbers might come in this time. Nope, not that. These little numbers might be just, be like a serial number for a sewing machine or something. Something like this, whoops, this one. Might be just yes. I like the idea of that. that. That looks like a little, like it might be a little serial number. Now, have I put these on? I can't remember if I put these on sticker paper. Did I? I think I did. Or oh, did? Yes. Thought I had. So that little number can go there. And I'll just do a little bit of a little bit of fabric tack along here. Come on, fabric tack! Stop making my life so difficult. Oh God! Right. And then just put this little. Now, where's the other glue gone? Oh, here it is. Another little little tag up and running. Woohoo! Right, and I think we might just call it a day with this one. So I need to go and trim my husband's hair now. We started doing that in uh, in lockdown. We bought some trimmers and started cutting his hair and now he he doesn't want to go back to the barbers he quite, <laughs> he quite likes my my rather severe zoop, zoop, that I do um, anyway there we are that's that little tag done I will put a little topper on it uh just see if I can find something to put on it um, bum, 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 bum. what about a little bit of fabric what about a 
about this pretty little bit of fabric. Yes, I like that. What about that? That will go. Yes, that will go. I'll just put a little bit of glue just to hold it in place until I can stitch it. Yes, I've got to go and do my, my barber duties in a moment. It's quite fun. He also offered to do my hair, but I wasn't quite so keen. So I have actually gone back to the hairdressers and let the professionals do it. a bit odd there doesn't it? That little, that little pointy bit. I'll just trim that off. Sort of okay. Okay so there we go. We have another little tag so we've got that one and we've got that one and we've got my little my little trifold and we've got my little booklet going well I will probably I'm just working up to trying to have a go at doing the the cover that really needs to happen not sure if I'm going to do it in the next in the next video let's see how brave I'm feeling okay so thank you very much for joining me please like and subscribe do come again and see what I do next <laughs> in my journal I do ooh, I do um, I do want to have a go at making a start on the cover I know what I want to do I just don't know how successful I'm going to be because it's a it's um, something I haven't done before so it's a bit of a bit of an experiment well I'm trying something that I hope will work I know how to do it in theory I just don't know how well I'll be able to make it happen so if you want to find out, join me in the next video. Bye.